Hi guys, welcome to Picture This. Yay. I am Chenda at Rufbach Library. I'm Danae, I'm from the Billie Jean King Main Library. And we'll be sharing our monthly conversation, sharing great books from our picture book collection, airing the second Wednesday of the month. For November, we're going to celebrate a nas our National Native American Heritage Month. We want to celebrate the culture, heritage, and contributions of the many Native American tribes that enrich the quality and character of our United Nation. Um, so we want to thank you by saying thank you in English. I say thank you in Khmer, Akon. In Tagalog, Salamat. Thank you in French, Merci. And in Spanish, Gracias. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. So for the Native American Heritage Month, I want to share this wonderful book called Fry Bread. It's a Native American family story written by Kevin Noble Mallard. It's really wonderful. It is a, um, um, it won the Robert F. Subert Medal Award. It has beautiful illustrations. The one thing I love about this um, book is that it shows you like the, um, how, um, many um, variety and aspect of fry bread is shared by the author. And he talks about um, the color, the sound that fry bread, met, fry bread makes and the um, taste. But he also includes the recipe in the back right here and the instructions on how to make it. And the author notes go into detail what the food and the history and the shape, the sound, flavor, and the time. So I hope you guys take the time to make something with your family and friend this Thanksgiving. And fry bread is right here. And everything about it, it's really wonderful to share with your family. And then also this November, I want to point out that it's a um, hundredth year of the suffragist movement around America to win the vote to suffragists, a kitten and 10,000 miles by Mara Rockcliffe. So if you wanna celebrate um, what the election that just happened, I want you to show what a journey it's been to get women's right to vote. And it's a beautifully illustrated and written book about two women who travel 10,000 miles um, in 1916, they took with them the mobile, but they also took a cat and a typewriter and a sewing machine. So if you're interested in finding out why did they take the kitten and the sewing machine and a typewriter, you have to check this book out and it's really wonderful to read. And so Danea, what do you have to share? Well, I have two books that I want to share right now. And this one is The Travel Guide for Monsters. It's written by Lori Degman. It's a great book and a starting point for those who want to learn about national landmarks and even the states of, um, of in the USA. So she wrote this book for you. If you have any monsters and you want to take them to any place, there's do's and don'ts that you have to do because we don't want your monsters to get in trouble when you guys take a nice vacation. So this is really fun. Um, I thought this was great because there's a lot of um, landmarks that if you probably maybe had trips in the past, you're like, hey, I went there before. So um, kids can even start um, if they get interested in the states, they can check out nonfiction books about the states. And I would also check out the Where Is series that we have here, because there's also, if you want to, are you interested in about uh, national landmarks? We have lots of those Where Is books. My other book is written by Nancy Bo Flood, and the title is I Will Dance. So this is a story about a young girl named Eva. She's paraplegic and she's in a wheelchair, but she loves dancing. But she wants to dance. She just doesn't want to think about it. She wants to dance. So her mom is very supportive and she finds a dance studio where she is accepted. And they take all abilities in all ages and all are welcome. 
even though she, her mom said that Eva was a little bit scared, she's like, well, I, you know, she wasn't sure maybe they wouldn't accept her or not. But she goes in and what happens? She finds people of all abilities in the dance, uh, in the dance hall. So it's a really great book and it's a really inspirational and I love it. And it's for those who think that they can't do it this girls she bought it she and she did it so i would check it out it's i will dance by nancy both blood and what about you chanda do you have some great books for me today well, i want to check out that monster travel guide because you know since we can't travel during covid it'd be nice to plan a trip and maybe that book will inspire us to you know plan our next trip when we can travel for my next sharing, I want to share this um, STEM series by Kimberly Durting. It's um, CC Love Science. This one is her second one, so it's Love Science and Adventure, but there's also Libby Love Science and CC Love Science. That's the first one. I like the book because if you're at home and you want to check out um, some science experiment um, book or talk about it, it the book comes with um, science worksheet and that you can follow along and do the experiments as you're reading the book. It's really wonderful for this one, like it's a science project worksheet, a worksheet. And this one is really awesome because it comes with rest um, the experiment um, instructions. It has, it includes like foaming fountain experiments. There's materials listed and instructions. And my favorite, of course, is also the, um, the ice cream one that you can make at home. And it has the ice cream experiment, the materials, instructions. And I think most of the items listed are things that we have at home. So I hope you guys give this series a try. This is the picture book um, um, sec um, series, but um, the beginning reader series is coming out also. And then I have another share, which is the Jack book. I love funny Jacks. Um, there's Jack um, by Mark Burnett and Greg Pizzoli. This is the second one or the third one, but this is the first one. Hi, Jack. Be sure to check him out, um, especially for beginning readers. They're very limited vocabulary, very funny. And at the end of this first book, it shows you how to draw Jack how to draw Rex the dog, and how to draw the lady, which is really awesome. But look at Jack. Jack, he can't stop being naughty. But this one, you will find too many Jacks. What's happening? You have to read it to find out. How come there's more than one Jack? So you have to read that one. And Danae, do you have another share? Yeah, I have two more that I want to share. And the first one is Do Not Go In There. And that's by, it's written by Ariel Horn. So it's about two best friends, Morton and Bogart. So they are, um, Bogart is the, the purple friend and this is Morton and they see a red door. So they are wondering what's behind the red door. So, Bogart, don't go in there. And Morton's like, I want to go in there. <laughs> so basically, it's a really great book about them imagining what is behind the door. So you get to see. And also, as you keep reading, you kind of can make your own imagination or kind of figure out what is behind that red door. So this is great. The illustrations are really fun. And I love the two characters are really cute. And the imaginations and the stuff that they come up with is uh, it's pretty interesting. So I would definitely check this out. It's Do Not Go In There by Ariel Horn. And my last one is a new book that is written by Sally Sutton. Uh, she has been around. She has done a lot of like a uh, construction book series. Um, and a lot of like dump trucks. And, and so this one is titled Wheels. So if you're, you have someone that loves cars, automobiles, or anything that rolls, this is a really great book. It's, um, the font is very big and, and it's a good rhyme. It's a very, like, I love the rhyming in the book. 
and there's so and you will spot so many different types of types of vehicles. So I really enjoy this one, um, and I love her. I love her books. Very simple for those young readers, and also to, it's very engaging. Like the whole, um, it's all the space. It's just all illustrated. So it's a very good book. Check it out. This is Wheels by Sally Sutton. And do you have anything else you want to show us, Kendra? Uh, um, Lawrence in the Fall. That's coming up. Um by Matthew Farina. This one is about a fox. There he is. And his dad is giving him a piggyback ride right there, a shoulder on his shoulder. So he went to school and the teacher wrote, bring in something you collect to show the class. Do you guys have a, a collection that you can, would like to share? Look at these animals. Somebody's bringing playing cards, coins, silk ribbons, combs. Somebody's collecting combs and marbles, but Lawrence, he doesn't collect anything. So what is he going to do? He's so worried. So don't, his dad took him into the forest to help him decide what can he find in the forest that he you think he would like to share. So he goes out there. So if you are looking for something to share, what would you find in the forest? You have to read this book to find out what did Lawrence find in the forest to share? And I'll give you a clue with the end paper right here. It's beautifully illustrated. This is the collection that his friends was going to bring in, the marbles, the silk ribbon, the combs, and the cards. But Lawrence, what is he going to share? If you read this book, you'll find out at the end. And then another one that I have to share is about Violet Shrink. There's Violet by Christine Baldacino beautifully illustrated and you can see violet which is kind of like the color purple like her name it's illustrated throughout the book and the the, the type the font is also in the color kind of like violet and violet loves to do everything that her daddy does he, she likes to eat cake um play music read she likes to do a lot of things but she doesn't like to do a lot of things at the same time. And she finally told her dad and her dad has the perfect solution for her. See right here, she has a noise canceling headphone that she can take with her. Um, if she goes to a family dinner that's really noisy and crowded um, and chaotic, so she can sit under the table, she has her headphone on, um, she has a book and she's just, she's part of the family, but she also gets to um, enjoy it without being too nervous because of the noise. So that's really a wonderful book to share if you have a shy one in your family. And another series that I have to share is by this wonderful author from England. Her name is Bethane Wolwen. I have two of her books here. Bo the Brave is about a little girl named Bo lives with her two big brother who says she is too young or too small to go monster hunting. But little does she know she is brave for her size and she's so smart. She sets out on her own adventure. And you can see by the illustration, I love the limited color, plenty of white space illustration in each pages. Oh, but I, what I love best is the look on Bo's face. It's really telling what she's feeling. And there's a map at the end. So if you like her book, you might also try her other books. Little Red, There, these are, um, this one is a, called Fractured Fairy Tales, which is just another way of saying um, the author, illustrator, um, tells a different version of the fairy tales and folk tales that we are familiar with. So if you want more books by the same author like I do, um, Danea will show you how. So she's going to show us how we can get more books by the same author. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you. So I'm going to share our catalog. And I'm going to type in Bo the Brave. Bo the Brave. That was the first story that Chandra was telling us. Um, so it's the first one on the, uh, the list. And if we want to find more about the author, all we have to do is just click 
underneath on the, the, the blue and click on the author and it will show us all of the titles that we have in our collection. Um, so we have Bo the Brave, Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel and Little Red. So um, if you want to request to just go ahead and click on the request it button and make sure you choose a library that is doing curbside pickup. So don't click on any of the ones that says close because they are not doing curbside pickup. Um, and that is a great way of seeing everything that we have by this author. Chenda, is there anything else that you want to talk about? Yes. Uh, since you mentioned requesting the book, this November on the fourth Thursday of every November, we have Thanksgiving holiday. This year, um, we're going to be closed after November 25th. So if you're requesting book to pick up, be sure to do it and pick up your books by November 25th, because the library will all be closed, the libraries, um, from Thursday, November 26th, all through Saturday. And of course, we normally close Sunday and Monday. So we won't see you back until Tuesday after Thanksgiving. And thinking of Thanksgiving, I just want to share this book, the first Thanksgiving by Pete the Cat, of course, and Kimberly and James Dean. It's a great um, lift the flap informational book, picture book about Thanksgiving and why we celebrate the first Thanksgiving thanks to the Ameri Native Americans for inviting the pilgrims to share in their harvest. And there you go. And while we're reading this book, Danae, what, um, what are you thankful for? Uh, there are so many things that I'm thankful for, but I'm really thankful for my family, my friends, and I'm really thankful that I have you to do picture this with every month. And it's really fun. I'm having a great time. And I hope everybody that is watching is having a great time with us and will check out the books that we have uh, suggested or even talked about. And what about you, Chenna? What are you thankful for? I am thankful, of course, for our time together and that my families and friends um, are still um, safe and that we're taking care of each other and that here we are still on our um, living on our planet together by Oliver Jeffers. So um, it's a great way of, to remind ourselves, you know, we're all in this together and we take care of our families and friends and our community and that we're all living on the same planet together. I'm really thankful for Zooming mm -hmm. that we can still share our books and be sure to check out Picture This 1120. If you want other titles that we've shared, you can go to our catalog and just type in Picture This 1120 and you'll see the, share, the titles that we've shared with you today. So until next month, I'm Chenda at Ruth Bach Library. I'm Danaea from the Billie Jean King Main Library. Bye. Picture this. <laughs>